Hi guys and welcome to a new episode on this channel. Can come this way. Today we will be talking about the Air with this volcano with my picture frame. Hehe. <laughs> so yeah, let's get started. What is volcanoes about? Well, this volcano is about well a lot of things. First of all, how do volcanoes form? And another one is why do volcanoes form? And why does red hot lava come with traces? And sometimes, what would happen if we would put trash in our volcano? Actually, don't, no, that wasn't in the list, so we'll skip that part. Alright, so it's like a randomizer. Let's say that you want to throw your trash into a volcano, but you don't know to do it or not. And then you get your magic eight ball to answer it, and it says sign points to no. So yeah, you don't. And what do you think would happen? Well, I won't be talking all about it, and we're just gonna skip it right now. All right, I just talked about it, and I just skipped it. So hope you enjoyed it. And now here is back to volcanoes. Volcanoes are randomizers. They are hot lava spewing stuff. They can spew out in different, in different moments. Let's say like a volcano eruption is like drinking water. When you drink water, you don't know when you will be thirsty. But since you don't know when you're thirsty, and once you're thirsty, you will get your water and drink it. Yeah, that's how it works. That's how our search works. But sometimes we do have some stuff of volcanoes. And what's the difference between magma and lava? They look the same. Well, magma is molten rock or melted rock that happens to be inside the Earth's crust. While lava is the same melted rock, only it's the magma that comes right out of the volcano or an er, or a vent to the crust through a crust. Like just that. Like how bottles fall, there's always empty space. But usually there is sometimes enough light to get it. This is how I would actually put down volcanoes. They're just hidden stuff that are shaped like mountains and disguised as mountains. That's my theory of volcanoes. So how do volcanoes form? Well, the earth is made from tectonic plates. Inside is a hot mantle. And there are these plates that are joined together, uh, like how does phone cases like. And now what happens is that sometimes the f sometimes the cases you might say overlap each other, making well a mountain. And sometimes there is an opening inside it. So if we open the phone, we can see like a f like a phone. The volcano has many. Chambers. Sometimes it even has a s secondary chamber, which is like, uh, which is like, no, the settings app for a phone. Uh, settings app for a phone. The settings app is like a secondary vent to us. Okay, let me turn down the brightness. Secondary phone. Now, why I am comparing volcanoes with phones is because, well, it is modern day technology. So I'm guessing a lot of people think of modern day technology as a lot of stuff. Now, as I mentioned with the Rubik's Cube method before, volcanoes are really unpredictable. You don't know when you'll get the right Rubik's Cube. So that's pretty impossible to actually predict. You know what pieces should go onto each of the sides? But you don't know how to put them there without changing the color that you already made. Without breaking them, of course. That's how, Rube, that's how a lot of things are, are pretty similar to volcanoes. 
Now, in DK Eyewitness, we have been talking all about volcanoes and also eruptions. Volcanoes can cause earthquakes, and earthquakes can be caught can be caused by other the overlapping of the formation of mountains or even volcanoes or even the eruption of volcanoes or landslides. All those things make volcanoes, like the volcano of Pompeii and Mount Saint Helens. There is a lot we can learn about volcanoes. This is where you come in. Now, first of all, I would like to say a few end words. First of all, hope you enjoyed this episode and please like, share, and subscribe to the channel. Now, this is when you come in. You become the stars of this show. So here's what I am gonna ask you a question where I'll get your comments down. If you answer the questions, I'll try to find your answers and well, just try to get at least five answers and, and then read them to you and read them to you. But if I, if, if I do have time, that is, so yeah. The question is, what do you think would be like of a volcano? What do you think you would do if you knew a volcano eruption was going to happen? But it still didn't. It would just happen in just like 10 minutes. What would you do in those 10 minutes? Time starts now. Please answer your questions in the comments below. See you next time. Shunhan out. Peace.